Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I brought a couple of. Let's go. Yeah. Can you see this? This is a bluebird of happiness. This was made here in Arkansas, and this bluebird belonged to my husband's grandmother. So it's kind of a special bluebird. I like the way it looks in the light. Yeah, it's pretty neat, isn't it? We have something else I wanted to show you this morning. Look, it's a glass bell. And can you tell what that is on top? Yeah, it's an owl. So I love cobalt blue glass. And my grandmother collected owls and bells. So this is really special. Do you want to hear me ring it? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Well, boys and girls, today I thought we might take a break from reading aloud and talk about some things that have been maybe things that you've noticed a lot since we've been staying home lately. One of which is washing our hands and the other We'll get to that in a minute. So if you don't know me, my name is Miss Mary and I'm a Storytime programmer at the Faulkner County Library in Conway, Arkansas. And before that, I was a preschool teacher and administrator. And one of the things I did was teach kids how to wash their hands. And I thought today I might show you how we did that. So we're in a slightly different place today. And you know, what do you need to wash your hands? You need water and soap and something to dry your hands off. So those three things, okay. So the first thing we do when we wash our hands is turn on the water. Okay, so I'm gonna move my camera down just a little bit. So you can see the sink. I'm at the sink. That's usually where we wash our hands, right? Okay, I'm going to turn on the water. I'm going to get my hands wet. And I'm using warmish water. And then I'm going to get some soap right here. One good squirt. You can see it on there. And then you rub your hands together right. And to make sure we rub our hands long enough together to get them clean, I sing this song. It goes, top and bottom, top and bottom, in between, in between. Rub your hands together, rub your hands together. Now they're clean, now they're clean. But we still need to go longer, so I sing it a second time, only faster. Top and bottom, top and bottom, in between, in between. Rub your hands together, rub your hands together. Now they're clean, now they're clean. Yeah! So then you rinse your hands off in the water. Get all that soap off, all the soapy, all the germs. And then you dry off. And then I turn off the water. Well, let's talk about that a little bit. How do you make sure even though you have soap on your hands, you get them all clean? It's the song helps me remember, but you need to rub the palms or the insides of your hands, right? Good. And then you, we talked about the tops. So you need to get the tops of your hands. Yeah, and then in between. So rub your fingers in between like that. And sometimes I rub them up and down like that too. Don't forget your thumbs though, and your fingernails. Sometimes I do that, and your wrists. Yeah, and our hands are clean. So hand washing is good because it gets dirt, and maybe paint and Play-Doh, and um, germs off of our hands, and that's really important for staying healthy. When are some good times to wash your hands? What do you think? Definitely every time you use the bathroom, wash your hands. And if you're wearing a pull-up or a diaper, wash your hands after you, you do that too, because it's like going to the bathroom. 
before you eat. Yeah, you should always wash your hands before you eat and after. What else? When you come in from playing outside. Yes. So when I was a teacher, we always washed our hands um, when we first entered the classroom in the morning. We washed them when we came in from playing outside. We washed them after we used the bathroom or changed a diaper. We washed them before we ate and after we ate. Let's see, we would also wash them before and after we played in the water or maybe the sand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. So I wanted to also talk to you about something else. My friend Corduroy is over here. Do you remember Corduroy from the story Corduroy? Yeah, there's Corduroy with his green overalls, just like in the story and both buttons. But what is this on Corduroy's face? Yeah, ooh. Are you sure that that's Corduroy? Can you tell? What is that on his face? It's a mask. Have you seen a lot of people wearing masks lately, maybe on television or in your house or, I don't know, maybe when you go for a walk? Yeah. It's really weird not to be able to see all of Corduroy's face. Corduroy, I'm going to take your mask off now, okay? It hooks up around his ears. Oh, there he is. And look, you can tell that Corduroy is smiling. It's hard. It's hard sometimes to know how people are feeling if you can't see their entire face, but it's just you, Corduroy. Oh, are you feeling good today? I'm so glad. So, like I said, it's just Corduroy. And look, even when Corduroy puts his mask on, it's still Corduroy underneath that mask. Yeah. I want to show you a mask that I have. My friend Jenny made me this mask to wear. And you may be wondering why people are wearing masks. It's just a way to keep germs from spreading. It's, it's another way to stay healthy, kind of like washing your hands when you have to leave your house. So look at it, isn't it cute? Look at those sweet animals. I see a raccoon and a bear and a rabbit Ooh, and a fox. So my friend Kristen made me a mask too, so this way um, I can wash them in between and, and still have a clean mask to wear. So remember, it's just me, Miss Mary. Okay, so I'm going to put on my mask. Just over the top of my head. But look, you can still see my eyes. Ooh, I got hair in my eyes. There we go. Over my ears. And I'm going to tie it. Just like that. Do I look a little scary or a little different? Yeah, I do. You can't see the bottom of my nose or my mouth or my chin, but it's still me underneath this mask. Yeah, it sure is. So while it might be a little weird, look, still Miss Mary. Miss Mary with her mask? Without her mask. So anyway, that's how. We wash our hands. You want me to sing that song one more time? It goes, top and bottom, top and bottom, in between, in between. Wrap your hands together. Wrap your hands together. Now they're clean. Now they're clean. Top and bottom, top and bottom, in between, in between. Wrap your hands together. Wrap your hands together. Now they're clean. Now they're clean. And then rinse them off. Um, one of my friends, Miss Jennifer, taught me that awesome hand washing song. And even though I'm a grown up, I still sing it out louder in my head when I wash my hands to make sure I wash them well. Well, good luck today. I hope everybody gets a chance to enjoy some sunshine, read some books, sing some, sing some songs. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.